I'm really honored here to be representing my father tonight, um, uh, especially uh, to represent Ed, who, uh, other than being a neighbor, he's been a pretty good friend for the last, I don't know, 20, 25 years. Um, just to give a little uh, background, uh, as prepared by his family, Ed returned to Bell Fountain in the early 80s, taking a position with Patrons Mutual Insurance Agency. He joined the Bell Fountain High School football staff as a videographer, videographer for 29 years. Ed served on the city school board as well and past president of the athletic, music, boosters, and PTO. Ed later took a position as president and CEO of the Logan County Chamber of Commerce and the Visitors Bureau where he served for 14 years. He traveled to the Friendship City Sakuda, is that right? Thank you. Uh, Japan, representing our community as an ambassador. He later returned to the insurance business where he is currently working as an agent for the Insurance Center. Ed has demonstrated his commitment to our community by serving on multiple organizations and boards. He was past president of the Kiwanis Club, has served on the OSU Extension Board, Downtown Business Partnership, West Ohio Economic <coughs> Development Group, Bell Fountain Parks and Recreation Board. He has also been a deacon and is currently an elder of the First Christian Church. Ed is currently president of International Friendship Center and also serves on the Bell Fountain Planning Commission, Citizens Police Academy Alumni Association, Relay for Life, and the United Way campaign of 2014. And Ed, I think, is most proud of his lovely wife, Kathy, son, Nicholas, daughter-in-law, Angie, and three wonderful grandchildren, Allison, uh, Nathan, and Lane. Um, and just on a personal note, uh, about 20, 15 years ago, I started working with the chamber and went through the chairs. and uh, I was able to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with Ed going to Columbus for some meetings and representing Logan County at Airfield, which was kind of scary. But uh, uh, the thing I realized is that he, he's just a good person. Um, that's, that's it. He's a good person. He goes about his daily life representing our community and trying to make it a different place or a different or a better place. He doesn't seek publicity. He just goes about and tries to do that every day. And I, I just think that's terrific. And what a wonderful human being. Ed, come on up here. seems to be that uh, you surround yourself with good people, uh, be it your staff, the people in your community. Uh, speaking of staff, I'd like to take this moment to recognize some of my former staff that are all here tonight to that's been bored and nothing else to do tonight, but <laughs> please stand up, all of you. They're the people that make me look good, and, uh, and I appreciate that. I also look down this list of the past recipients of this award, and I'm, I'm humbled by, to be a part of this illustrious group. Leading the chamber for the, a number of years allowed me to network with a lot of wonderful people, many people that I didn't know at first, but I got to know personally as time went on, and there's just a a wonderful network of people out there that, that care about Logan County, they volunteer their time, 
And I'm sure if you introduced each one of them over here, they could have a laundry list of the things that they give and they do because they believe and support Logan County. I also want to thank Jack Reeser. Jack was right there as I started in this position, uh, guided me through it. Uh, he probably got bored of me hanging around him, but Jack taught me an awful lot to show me how to, to succeed in this business. One of the other things that we had each year was to sit down as an executive board and decide who's going to get this prestigious award. And we always had a laundry list of talented, wonderful people to select from. And that was probably one of the most difficult things I think we had to, to do. And all our past chairmen that are here tonight would support that. You know, it was, it was difficult, but you always had to come up with someone as they came down to announce this to me that I was going to get this award, I think it was the first time in my life I was actually a little bit without words. I, I think my comment was, I guess you finally got to the bottom of the barrel. There was no, you need to get somebody an award, and so I said, let's give to Ed. And, and for that, I'm thankful, grateful. I'm also grateful for my family that's here tonight. Uh, Sorry, Kathy and Nick, they allow me to do what I do because they support me. And I didn't get to know Dick Rupp real well, but I hope that what I did, what I accomplished all the time, he'd be saying thank you, well done, Ed. But again, I didn't do any of this alone. You surround yourself with good people, as Bill said, and as the Eight Crux people said. <laughs> I'm humbled by this award. I think it's, of all the things that I've been honored by, this by far is the greatest honor that I could get. Thank you very much to the Chamber Board, the Chamber staff, and have a good evening. Thank you.